Salutare domnilor și domnilor, sunt Mihai Daniel, astăzi am alături de mine pe domnul Dan Friedman, CEO and Founder la Zengate Global, o companie dintr-un domeniu extrem de atractiv în clipa de față, zona de real world assets. Mr. Dan, welcome to my channel. Thank you, thanks for having me. My pleasure. So, firstly, I would like to have a short introduction about yourself. Of course. Uh, so I've been in the IT space for over 20 years since the 90s, um, I've worn many hats, everything from developer to business developer to CTO and CEO. Um, more recently in the Web3 space, I was on the founding team of Cardano and uh, worked uh, many jobs on that uh, in that ecosystem. I, um, I basically, I structured the beginnings of the business development um, uh, team at IOG um, as well as other jobs as well as um, uh, well many many I wore many hats you could say. So tell me about the project that you are involved now what are you creating? Right so um, what we're building is the Palmyra platform which is a tokenized commodities trading platform Uh, focusing on underserved commodities and emerging economies. This is an RWA platform that uh, really focuses on the $2.6 trillion underserved market for commodities that cannot enjoy uh, more traditional means of market access. Um, you have three pillars for this project. Yes, yes, of course. Let's start with the first one. Right, so um, the three pillars of the Palmyra ecosystem are first of all the Palmyra platform, which is the platform that we've built, uh, which addresses all these different issues by uh, combining Web2 and Web3 solutions. So it's an aggregate solution. Um, so on Web2 side, what we did was we uh, created ways for easier remittances, for uh, more streamlined logistics, And on the Web3 side, of course, uh, we have solved many issues. For example, uh, through tokenization uh, on the Palmyra platform, uh, you get embed traceability, you get on-chain certification, you get on-chain digital credentials, you get um, a very um, intricate and very robust uh, Oracle network that essentially does on-chain data validation, uses, you know, uses deep pin devices, IoT devices, and essentially many, many of these things that will de-risk things for, uh, for commodity producers and essentially give them an opportunity to leapfrog into the 21st century uh, by eliminating the problem of under-digitization, which is something that they're suffering from right now. Tell me about the staking. How is working? Because staking is very broad, but most people, they don't understand. So what is the role of staking? Right, right. So um, the second pillar of uh, the Palmyra ecosystem is, of course, the palm economy, which is what we're talking about today. And so the palm economy uh, is fueled by the palm token, which and the palm economy is the financial ecosystem, the Palmyra platform and the Palmyra, uh, the Palmyra ecosystem. Um, the core asset of the palm, the palm economy is the palm token. The Palm token is essentially a token that the holder can stake and from which they will receive rebates. And so the way that works is um, through our novel tokenomics, what we've done is we have created a way for um, the stakers to receive um, rebate fees from transactions that are done on the Palmyra platform, which are done in fiat. And so what happens is you stake the token and the transactions happen on the Palmyra platform in fiat, then um, we take a portion of that transaction and through capital infusion, we introduce that into the Palm economy. So essentially we convert it into the Palm token and distribute it to the stakers. So you get a constant influx of fiat into the ecosystem, kind of uh, creating a more scalable and sustainable way for, for the ecosystem to exist and to expand. And regarding, you know, the users of the platform, so you have like normal guys that will get the token and they will stake it, but you will have also the real user of the platform, I mean, the people with commodities. Of course, of course. So 
The producers and the buyers, of course, uh, transact on the platform and they utilize the platform, which essentially gives them wider market access and it gives them an opportunity to, um, well, to transact in a more streamlined way. And of course, uh, the users of the platform can also stake the Palm token to essentially offset their transaction fees. So they will get the same rebates. And since they're utilizing the platform and getting those transaction fees going, they will offset the cost of doing business on the platform. Uh, I want to ask you about the TradeFi. So how is this going to work in the ecosystem? Right, right. So, and this is another uh, really exciting part of the Palm economy, is what we call Trade DeFi. And what this is, is trade access to trade financing for producers. And let me just kind of give you a little bit of a brief overview of what trade financing is. So in the commodities field, um, the commodities producers constantly borrow money to process crops and to process commodities, not just crops, but commodities. And so a lot of these developing economies, they, um, well, in these economies, they'll have to borrow money at a really high perennial rate, something over 30% a lot of times. Through the use of DeFi, we can actually offset that by quite a bit. And so what we're going to be doing is uh, the Palmyra platform is essentially going to work with different DeFi protocols to create lending opportunities for producers that will be able to borrow this money from people, say, you know, um, for example, they want to create yield from their stable coins. Right, and they want to lend this want to lend this capital to a producer, who will then be able to utilize it for trade financing at a much lower cost. But still, if you're paying thirty percent plus per annum, right, you will be happy if it's you know even I don't know a third less. But on the on uh, the lender side, right, when somebody who's actually providing liquidity, providing these uh, stable points for lending. This is great API because right. th th this is this is low risk as well because uh, you're going to be utilizing the same tools essentially the banks would utilize, which is the traceability, which is on-chain certification to de-risk your position. So you can also utilize the entire network, you can utilize the oracles, you can utilize everything that, like I said, a regular bank would use to de-risk themselves. You can do the same thing. That's fantastic. And the last part of the ecosystem is the DAO. Right, right. So the third pillar, third pillar of Palmyra and a uh, huge part of the Palm economy. And so again, let me give you a bit of a background on how uh, the Palm DAO came to be. Um, when we started the project and since then, um, the community has been huge in making this project happen, really. and not just by their support and saying, you know, you guys are doing a great job, which we do have quite a bit of, but really kind of getting hands on and um, bringing us opportunities, right? In fact, our pilot jurisdiction, and this is uh, right now we're in many jurisdictions, but our pilot jurisdiction of Sri Lanka was an opportunity brought to us by a, a community member. Right now, of course, we're in different jurisdictions and we have uh, many different commodities on the platform. Aside from tea, we have, uh, we're, we're working with Myanmar, we're working with Nepal, we're also working with uh, Zambia for honey. Uh, we have other commodities like uh, spices, like cinnamon. Uh, we're onboarding more commodities. And <clears throat> a lot of these commodities, a lot of these leads came from the community. And so what we decided to do is incorporate it into our tokenomics. Um, the Palm DAO essentially creates an opportunity for people to utilize the treasury to receive funding, to, re uh, to receive grants from the Palm DAO to explore their own business opportunities that will bring, that will bring transactions to the Palm ecosystem, the Palmyra ecosystem. Um, and so this is for the community to be able to engage and to be able to kind of create their own offshoots of the, of the palm, uh, the palm economy, and to basically be able to take initiative in, in uh, utilizing these opportunities that they've been bringing to us. And I, 
we're, we're very excited about this because this is literally a way for the community to have hands-on involvement in the palm economy, to scale, to expand the palm economy um, exponentially. And what are the near plans for the platform? How do you plan to expand? How fast do you think it will happen? Because it is an industry that is growing very fast. Right, right, right. So things are happening really fast, yeah. Um, the platform is already live. And so our actually our, um, um, our message has always been product before token. And like I said, it's an aggregate. It's an aggregate of Web 2 and Web 3. And essentially, the platform itself um, does not require people to know Web3. It's abstracted. So, which because the mainstream uh, audience does not need to know how Web3 works to be able to get the benefits of Web3. That's what we're all about. Now, how do you get involved? Um, right now, um, starting very soon, on the 18th of, uh, of April, we have an IDO happening. And so an IDO usually means something different than what we say, by what we call it. So the IDO in our, uh, in our ecosystem is an initial distribution offering. So essentially it's an early community round before, before public, before all these other rounds. And it's a way for the community to get in early. It's literally uh, maybe just a little bit offset from, from the seed round. So it's actually the community seed round and again, a thank you to the community for being so supportive. And it is happening literally within the next few days. So that's a big way for you to get, to get involved is to participate in the IDO. Uh, we have an IDO happening in two parts on, uh, for the Ergo ecosystem and the Cardano ecosystem, both of them. Of course, this asset is going to be a Cardano native asset. And both of them are happening with Cardano, uh, inside the Cardano ecosystem. So yeah. You can participate right now, literally happening right now. Um, aside from that, there's also an ISPO, an initial staple offering, uh, which is happening now, and it's another way for you to to, uh, to participate and to be able to kind of accumulate the Palm token. Um, and yeah, going beyond, uh, we're expanding the platform. We're launching Trade DeFi again, a huge part. I mean, this is going to be really big. I think this is. Huge because it's it's finally a way for us in the Web3 space to bring something super useful to the traditional markets, to a producer that has a respectable business that just cannot get access to capital and they can through DeFi, through people's stables. And on the, on the DeFi side, a low risk, great yield, and a way to basically hedge against, against this crazy volatility we're seeing in the markets. I think, uh, from my perspective, it's a huge, huge market, huge opportunity, and I hope it will grow up fast and it will help many people with like businesses that they don't have access to real money and they don't have access like to global markets for the produce. So, you know, it's still very young industry, but with a huge potential. So, I want to thank you for this interview. We will leave the, all the important links below. And hope to see you again with great news. Thank you so much for having me, Daniel. And uh, yeah, and thanks everyone for watching. Thank you very much.